You know, you'd think that I would run out of comments at some point, wouldn't you? Surely the flat earthers and conspiracy theorists would have had their fill over the last four years and insulted me enough that they've decided it's no longer an acceptable way to get their point across. Nope. Welcome along to another comments video with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Yes, it's that time of the month once again where we take our Christmas stockings of debate and hang them on the fireplace of opinion that is the Simon Dan comment section. Except this month we aren't starting in my comment section. I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at some of the comments from a comment section of a flat earther after they've done a video about me. These comments have been taken from Level Earth Observer's comment section. You have been warned. First up is W.S. Clayter Strang Haldane, who says, Sci-Fi Man Dan is an easy target, but he should not be given any extra exposure. He is a low-level actor with a cheap look. I'm actually a really bad actor, as many of you have probably already seen, but to be called one, even if it's a low-level one, is actually a compliment, so thank you. And cheap look it may be, but it doesn't make me wrong, does it? Next up, we've got Paul Revere 1776, who says, Flim Flam Danny in her little eyes, needs to quit hitting the pipe, Danny girl. Flim Flam Danny is a cracking one. Got to give him credit there. Moving on, we've got Johnny Z, who says this, Dan is a good barking lapdog of the deceivers and controllers of this world, but when he has to defend their house, he crawls into a hole shivering. Actually, my hole here is quite cozy, thanks, uh, Johnny Z. So, joke's on you. Our next comment from LEO's comment section comes from WPL, who says, Comedy man Dan speaks with confidence, yet his body language suggests he's a folded leaf. It shows an incongruity typically found in charlatans and used car salesmen. A folded leaf? No, doesn't work. Next up we have Anna Goodmanson who says, Why does Simon Dan remind me of a wet tea bag? Be very careful here, Anna. I think you need to take some time and think about this and be very careful with your wording in future. Moving on, we have Mark who says, I would love to debate the guy who write fake man Dan's script. So me then, Mark, you want to debate me? Well, as we all know, I don't debate established fact. So sorry there, buddy. Amanda Copeland up next, who has this to say, please don't stop ripping Simon's scam a new one. I can't stand that little with his goofy haircut and his snide, narcissistic Dunning-Kruger attitude. Yes, please don't, Elio, because then I'll run out of stuff to comment on. And goofy haircut? How dare you? Okay, I know it's not great, but you do you, I'll do me. And the final comment from Elio's comment section comes from Mick Bujoli, who says this, I'm not a flat earther, 134 IQ. I still think Dan sucks. Well, Mick, 134 IQ, that is obviously fine, of course. But a word of warning, if you absolutely have to publish your IQ, that tends to mean that it's actually around 25 points lower than it is. That's what I've heard anyway. Right, back to my comment section, and we'll start with someone called Driston Quant, who has this to say. How is it that we see the same stars every 12 months if supposedly we are flying through space around the so-called black hole? It doesn't make sense. According to you guys, it only takes 12 months to make a complete circle around the Milky Way black hole, that's obviously incorrect and doesn't make sense. Please, one of you globe believers, tell me how does that works? It takes our solar system approximately 250 million years to do one orbit of the galactic center. The 12 months is our own sun, buddy. Okay, next up we have Alligator Dundee, who says, Who is Simon Dan and why have I just wasted five minutes of my life listening to some of his cretinous thoughts on YouTube? Somebody clearly doesn't know enough to know that this is a complete waste of bandwidth, showing no wit, intellect, or creativity. Wow, what a splendid review of the channel that is. Of course, you're entitled to your opinions, but I will take solace in the fact that I receive many, many, many emails telling me otherwise. Our next comment comes from Resident Felon, who says, Dare you to debate Santos 1v1? I'd be happy to debate Santos on a variety of topics, but not on Flat Earth because that would imply that I'd be open to persuasion, that one side or the other have relevant points. And as we know with the shape of the earth, that's not the case. Email me Santos, we'll set something up. 
Next up, we have Young Earth Creation, who says, Luckily, the opinion of someone like Dan here, who knows nothing about the subject, doesn't matter at all. Keep trolling for views, Dan, it's all you got. You are in fact correct here, Young Earth Creation. My opinion doesn't really matter. But the facts do, and that is what I try and give you all. Up next is our old friend Flat Earth Philosophy, who has this to say. Wow. I am watching the Intellectually Handicapped channel. <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. If you want to know who this is, it's this guy. It's me. I'm saying you're looking over a ball, so you could probably curve this like that, but they get lost when they have to explain the straight lines, the gap, the tropical gap. Intellectually Handicapped. Good one. Next comment comes from Occam's Ghost, who says, One phony grifter being insulted by another phony grifter. Compelling fake drama. Yawn. Again, you're entitled to your opinion, but I'd really like to know who it is you think I'm grifting. Let me know, please, Occam's Ghost. Next up is Robert1711, who has this to say. You can't say being on Kent's channel yet again like he's obsessed with you when you started it all and make way more videos about him. I'm not a Kent fan or even religious, but you are just annoying. I did start it all, yes, I'll give you that one. But let's set up the video, shall we? I had a quick check. And I've actually made six videos on Kent. You can check my whole channel and you'll see that. Last time I counted, Kent did 13 videos on me. So yeah, busted on that one. Next up, we have Summer Pharrell, who says, you're on glue. Lovely. And it's Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, by the way. Thank you. Next up, it's, oh, it's Summer again. Why can't I find it anywhere? Because you only find horseshit like your videos and all the good stuff is censored, you lop. Lop? Lop? What is a lop? Ah, it's a loser apparently. Thanks, Summer. Hey, at least you got the right yaw this time. Unless you only know that one and get lucky from time to time. Is it is up next and they have this to say. I feel like this channel is just clickbait for wannabe pseudo intellectuals. Oh, let's make fun of people. We're so brainy. Um, no, we don't really make fun of people. Yes, their ideas and opinions, but not them themselves. Our penultimate comment comes from a guy called Paul. Without flat earthers, you'd be nothing. Just look at the number of subscribers on your other channels. Not feeding the wife and kids from those. You owe your success to Flat Earthers. Without us, your wife would leave you. Okay, I absolutely do owe my success to Flat Earther videos, but I made these videos. I wrote the scripts, I filmed them and edited them together. I made sure that I never missed a Friday release and I still haven't to this day after almost four years. And by the way, I was married to my wife before YouTube came along, so yeah. The final comment this month comes from an Anthony Foden who says, I can't let you get away with this. Cherry pick the most offensive and rather stupid comments and thereby lump everyone else into that category, leaving you the champion of truth and wisdom. Let's see. We know that stars have mass. Oh, do we now? I hope you are not going to claim that absorption emission lines produced by light passing through a telescope could possibly be used to determine the constituents of a star. The light from this star is passing through the Earth's atmosphere and it is the combination of the gases at this particular place on planet Earth which is being registered, not any properties of any star. Oh really, is it now, Anthony? So how do you explain the spectroscopy results taken from the Hubble telescope where there's no atmosphere? I'll be right here waiting for your response on that one, Anthony. Right, well there we go, another Fantastics Comments video, all done and dusted. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it today, please do consider subscribing. There's a buttload more comments videos if this is your thing. Uh, and if you like this one, smash the like button. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you on Christmas Eve for a Flatter Friday Christmas special. See you then.